what do you think is the most productive path forward for the country in terms of a reasonable right to choose versus right to life argument? Because you personally feel that abortion should be banned. Am I correct? I am personally pro-life. You're pro-life. So you don't yeah, believe you should be able to get an abortion under any circumstances or do you have rape and My view as, I'm running, as someone who's running for U.S. president and responding yeah. to the question about the Supreme Court case yeah. is that Roe versus Wade was correct to be overturned on constitutional grounds. Okay, fine. And it was, it was made That's up. It's a legal argument. How do you personally it is, but, but, yeah. but it leads also to the path for moving forward, which okay. is that I think the federal government should stay out of it. And so there's okay. a discussion amongst Republicans. I think I'm the only Republican candidate in this field who has come out and said that I would not support a federal abortion ban of any kind on principled ground, because to me, the, I am grounded in constitutional principles. And I think there's no legal basis for the federal government to legislate here. The 10th Amendment says that part of the American experiment is we have diversity across states. And I think this is a state's issue. Now, at the level of the states, I'm personally a believer that unborn life is life. I think that the pro-life movement needs to, we need to walk the walk when it comes to being pro-life. What do I mean? I'm pro-contraception. I'm pro-adoption. I'm pro-child care. I'm pro more sexual responsibility for men. For God's sake, we live in an era of genetic tests. We can actually put more responsibility on men. This doesn't have to be and should not be a men's versus women's rights issue. And nobody on our side is really talking about these issues. I, I do because I don't think this has to be as divisive as we've made it out to be. But I can almost prove to you that more people in this country share my instincts than are willing to admit it. There's a case, you know, Clarence Thomas brought it up of pregnant woman walking down the street. She's assaulted. The unborn child dies as a result. I haven't met, and I have many liberal friends. Most, most of my friends growing up have been, you know, have different political persuasions than I have now. I haven't met a single one of my liberal friends or otherwise who says that that criminal does not deserve liability for that death. And so I, I just think more of so us leave share it to these the common states. instincts. If one state wants to ban it, they can ban it. If another state wants to have a 24-week rule, they could have a 24-week rule. That's, that's your Unlike other solution. Republican candidates, I will not be signing a federal abortion ban on okay. constitutional so to the grounds. States. And I Understood. remain open to persuasion. If some legal scholar convinces me that the U.S. Constitution gives the federal government the authority to sign that into law, so be it. But I have not been so convinced. And I think many other principled constitutionalists haven't been convinced, even though the other Republican field has all, best I know every other candidate in this race has said they would sign one.